Welcome to Car Side Reviews. I'm Adam Olinger. This is Jay, and that's Garrett. We just got done seeing X Men Apocalypse, the uh, I don't know, most disappointing movie I saw all year so far. Let's let's approach this the way I approach my other my my flagship show, Movie Feuds, where we break it down by uh, different topics. The first one would be cast. What did you guys think of the cast of this film? I thought it was hit and miss. You know, I thought that, you know, Cyclops, he was very well cast. I like Ty Sheridan. I didn't like him at all. He's what I call a mouth breather in the industry. He has oh. the Kristen Stewart. Yeah. Is it Kristen? Is it Kristen Stewart? It's Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart. I'm thinking, thinking Kristen, Kristen Dunst. Dunst. Yeah. I'm thinking that. Yeah, he just can't shut his goddamn mouth. Couldn't shut his He had to shut his eyes. That's why I had to oh. compensate for that. <laughs> Holding his ears. I can't figure any of this out. He's supposed yeah. to be the leader of the X-Men. They once again fucked that up. And you know what? I'm just, I'm just getting old and bitter. I guess I don't go, old. I don't go Jesus. to these movies anymore and enjoy them. When I saw X2, I waited in line for like eight hours. It was a huge fucking ordeal, and it was amazing. It blew me away. Hey, here's a fun fact: that was the first movie I ever saw in theaters. Wow! Thank as you. if thank any you of for you making me feel like a dinosaur. As if any of you give a shit. Yeah. Well, it made me feel terrible. Good. So, thank you. Well, you go from. I'm sorry. We're we're already off track. Let's let's just well, you go, let's okay, bring no, it no, back. No, you you're bringing up a good point. You go from Days of Future Past. That movie, you know, you could argue that First Class saved the series, but Days of Future Past was X Men Four, and it made up for all the continuity flaws of the previous movies. This movie created more, and yeah. just this is why X Men just needs to go back with Marvel. Maybe they yeah. do. I. I you know, for the longest time before New Class came out, I was like, don't redo this series. Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. And now, after all the mess and the convoluted storylines, I don't even care. Reboot uh, the whole damn thing. Yeah, but I will say this. Quicksilver was great. Yeah, Quicksilver um, was great. Professor X and Magneto, always fantastic. Fassbender does what he does, you know? Yeah, he's just he does his thing. Um, But Jennifer Lawrence, you know... You can't stand her in these movies. I cannot yeah. stand her. You do not craft a character based around the actor or actress, and no. that's what they've done here. Rebecca like, Romaine was perfect, yeah. and she was mistake. She knew her role, and she did it well. And what was it that Garrett said before about the X Men series? Oh yeah, yeah. What was the line you you came into this car to say? Go ahead and say it for this the, the only the reason why he about came the, here. about the X Men timeline. Oh uh, yeah, dude. Uh... X Men is more uh, fucked up than the uh, Mexico United States border. No, I'd say nailed it. Nailed I'm it. Not, they, they craft half this goddamn movie around Jennifer Lawrence, and yeah. her entire character is useless in this. Her power is to shape shift and trick yeah. people and play mind games. She never does it. No, she's just. She's Jennifer. in J Law form. The She's entire just Katniss. Film. Yeah, and, and that's so boring. And the guys in the movie, I think there's four different scenes. You know, you thought it was ridiculous in Batman v Superman when they said like three times, "There's no people in the city. There's no people in the city." Oh. <laughs> in this movie, it's the equivalent of people saying, "Why don't you uh, look like your blue self? You know, why don't you uh, take off your mask?" They well, do that constantly. Of that they did that at the end of the movie too. There was like no people in the city. Oh yeah, there's no, there's no, there's no victims it's in like, this film. Uh, shit is blowing up everywhere, and there's no humans. You have Storm in this, underutilized. I have nothing. I know nothing about her. She joins the cause for no reason whatsoever. Yeah. She even points out for some reason there's a, a mystique poster in her like family room <laughs> that they keep going back to. She's like, she's my hero. Oh she's my your God. hero. You're fighting her. I, yeah, I don't get the, it. It's so inconsistent. Uh, Maybe because was the only one that had any sort of uh, character depth, any and a, good motivation. And then let's get to Apocalypse since we're. No, you know, he's terrible. This was a very character driven movie. I know. So we don't even have to talk about the plot because there really wasn't much of a plot here. Well, the first, I'd say, half of the movie is recruiting X-Men. Yeah, and recruiting, recruiting the Horsemen, too. Recruiting the X-Men that we've already seen and are familiar with in the other movies. Why couldn't they just do a montage, like, in first class? Yeah, they should have done, like, a Rocky montage, just the plane going on a map, like Indiana Jones, and just picking up recruits. Yeah. That would have been better than what we have or like here. Or, like I said, first class, you know? And I, I, don't, I don't like first class, either. I'm one of those guys. I, I didn't what? like first class. I thought it was meh. Meh. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's part of the being old thing is I'm, I'm attached to the original crew. I see uh, Femke as Jean Grey. I do not see Sophie Turner as Jean Grey. And most of the time oh, she's Stark. trying to mask her accent. Yeah, Sansa. Sansa. It, it, it doesn't work. I still, I still she's so hot. Yeah. Uh, none of it works. None of it works in this movie. Fast Outside Stop. of Fastbender and uh, Quicksilver. Quicksilver is a fantastic scene. Oh, I'm not going to. 
I'm not gonna. We're gonna, gonna do. Say, we're gonna do spoilers okay, at the end. I almost we'll, we'll, spoiled I'll something. Throw up a spoiler tag um, in in like two minutes. Yeah, Quicksilver was the best part of this movie. Fastbender, McAvoy, fantastic. Yeah, McAvoy's great. So, what would you give it? Oh, we're we're jumping into it already. We're, we're jumping into okay. it. We've said everything we need to well, say. Well, before we go into spoilers, uh, the things that do work are the intros really cool. Oh yeah. That was fantastic. The oh, yeah, Quicksilver scene. You, yeah, he rolls in like th- <laughs> he rolls in like twenty minutes late. Doesn't give a shit. He's <laughs> never seen any of the X Men movies. He's got middle fingers in the air. He sits down with his soda. And he's like, I don't even care. <laughs> Out of ten, ten being the best, one being the worst. I'm gonna give this a four. Four. I'll go six. Wow, you're being generous. Maybe. But I have to see it again because I'm still kind of mixed. Okay. And you, you're just going to give it a 10 because you're that guy. No, I'm, I'm actually really? not. I've actually seen some uh, better movies. <laughs> the, light, the light's like a UFO. <laughs> no, no. Ah! It's taking me up. I can't, can't get in a good light That's spot. Sad. I was getting that Age of Ultron feeling in that movie. Yeah, when Apocalypse was talking, I was like, oh, Ultron, but without the personality. Yeah, and there's so much campy, cheesy shit in this, too. We're going to go to spoilers. No, you... Spoilers. Oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) Go go ahead. What do you got? (laughs) Reverse the spoiler. (laughs) What do you got? It's the Flash now. We're just bringing it. We're turning back time. Give him the stars. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm what is sorry. your rating? Oh, yeah, so... Can I'll you come it... into, like, the goddamn yeah, camera? I'll give it a seven, whatever. A seven. Ooh, that's what I gave to Batman v Superman. A seven without even seeing the first half hour of the film. That's really good. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Maybe that's why. That <laughs> half of it was, like, really just set up. It was nothing it's particular. okay, I figured out who, who the people were. Yeah, you Apocalypse it. just sucked Halfway that guy into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> So we're, the, we're at the spoiler section now. If you didn't like the first half of this, just walk away now because it's just going to get a whole lot worse. Ouch. Let, let's take it beat by beat. The movie starts out at the pyramids. I thought that was cool. That was that was an awesome intro. The That's first like a twenty good, minutes, yeah. I think you turn. And you're like, this is this is really good. I'm like, yeah, it's starting out nice. Yeah, it was it was like you know when it started. The stuff you missed was really good. Yeah, <laughs> no, and then no, no, I no. walked in and you're like, oh, this is. It shit. wasn't really so much that. <laughs> it's that the movie took it, you know it took its time to set everything up and yeah. then it started picking up and I was like, wow, it's getting really good. It was at the point when uh, the Wolverine cameo that whole sequence that's began. when it lost you or that's what it picked up for you no that's when it started to lose me oh because I, was, I was lost way sooner than that so after that whole well, it was thing, because it was, that was the quicksilver scene before that yeah. and i love that scene and that's what got me really immersed yeah. into the story and everything i was like, hell yeah this is gonna be great now we gotta we gotta see though chronologically speaking we're in the pyramid we get some cool mutants doing fire stuff <laughs> my favorite is the mortal do you guys play mortal kombat yes, yes. Do you remember the fatality where the dude, I don't know his name, but he uses his force abilities and oh, uh, crushes this guy's limbs oh, all into a for- box? <laughs> yeah, that's, that happens that, in this. That, that's not Noob, is it? No, it's not Noob. It's like Ermac or something. Ermac, I don't know. I don't, yeah. I don't know his name. That's it's not him either. But uh, So yeah, there's some unique, cool powers being used. Well, and, then we, and then we flash well. forward to present... Well, not present. It's in the 80s it's now. It's in the 80s. You wouldn't even know it by watching the movie. Yeah. It's like a few boombox scenes and... Uh, yeah, they don't really play off it near as well as... Uh, and, bruh. and it's just J-Law off on her little mission trips to the, recruit people. It's, it's road trip with J-Law. Oh, somebody's calling me. What, what is this? Is this amateur know. hour? Really? We're, we're in a car with a single camera. You're what are you This is professional. It's, it's this kid. No, nobody knows that. That has no context for anybody. It's one of your douchey friends. Nobody cares. It's it's this is my show. Now. Okay, so yeah, so. so we get like a, a fight with Nightcrawler, who's much worse than Alan Cummings. Um, he's oh, more no. comic relief than anything else. That was uh, that kid was in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. If you give a shit, I like that movie a lot. It's much better than this one. Um, he for some reason can't uh, like warp out of the. Cage yeah, but they because never there's electricity around it. That's that. that's the thing now that that stops him from apparating or whatever you want to call it. Apparating. It's a Harry Potter term. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's just J Law kind of going around, and this takes like half of the movie is J Law getting. Her. I don't even know what she's doing. What, what is was she? Her, what was her purpose? What was uh Rose Byrne's purpose? In no, this she's just in it. Don't worry about her. But half the characters are just. In I don't. It. What is she recruiting for? I don't. I couldn't tell She's you. She's just walking around with like a cigarette. Like, come on, let's go. Come on, come on with me. She's not an X-Men. There, there is no She's X-Men not- again. Every movie has what? to try to rebuild this fucking team. Why can't they just be X-Men now? Can they just be X-Men now? 
Sorry, Adam. They can't. <laughs> Can they be X Men now? And that's what I liked about the first X Men movies that they were already a team. You yeah. Know, just Wolverine was our eyes and ears, and he was you yeah. know getting us immersed into everything <laughs> until their house gets blown up again. Right. Well, uh, again, I, they're I mean, always destroying that well, mansion. It, it's it is like Harry Potter. It's the most unsafe school to be at. So, like nothing good oh, happens yeah. at the mansion. Nothing good happens at that school. The but it, this does the thing that. Most movies desperately want to get past, which is setting up the team yeah. and setting up the origins. This thing's like, let's do all that again because let's people just... fucking hate it. So let's keep doing that. Yeah. First class, at least, you know, so you don't have to like the movie, but they at least they they set it up in a way that was entertaining. Yeah. And it wasn't like it didn't feel so tacky. Yeah. It, that was the whole point of the movie. I don't hate First class. I just thought it was, eh. Okay, uh, good. The characters so, aren't near so as exciting. So you do exciting. have common sense. That's good to yeah, know. The, the, the characters aren't near as exciting for me. And some of them no. are just borderline just retarded. The moth girl or whatever. And oh, Abba Angel. And, that was the original Angel. Yeah, Angel's in this movie. I, I forgot Angel was in this movie. Uh, he's Completely He has as much forgot. screen time as he did in X3, which is to say which, very little. Uh, I thought they were moving on from that. You know, I thought that's the point of rebooting or is doing a soft reboot of the series is to get past those flaws, you know, correct your mistakes. And in this movie, unfortunately, they just kind of did the yeah, same thing. Yeah, it's the same. It, this is X3 all over. This is Brian Singer's X3, as far as I'm concerned. And they because, even have an insult yeah. in the film making <laughs> fun of the X3. Yeah, the third one's And all I'm worst. thinking is, you're, you're doing it right now. Yeah. You, this is your... Just because you're self-aware yeah. doesn't make it any better. No. Um, the uh, what, are, what are Apocalypse's powers? He controls sand? What does he? Do? I don't I get don't it. And he can apparently make. He was more. He just morphs shit. Though. And he can. He's like Elsa from Frozen. He can just make <laughs> clothes too. <laughs> There's someone should do an edit where they replace Apocalypse with Elsa. Yeah. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> he's putting clothes on people. <laughs> but also give people, or give people more strength. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Somehow. I don't. I don't know. He's like a force of nature. I don't know why he needs four horsemen. He can do everything show. himself. He was like a force of nature in the comics in the show. In this one, he just. It was to uh, protect him while he was getting. He had to look good when he did it. I, it's just it's so nonsensical. For why four? Why not ten? You know why? Why any? Why any? And he's like giving tattoos to Angel, and he's yeah. giving him all these cool. And then Olivia yeah. Munn's there, and she's just looking <laughs> hot. Just like, she's like, "Where's Aaron Rodgers?" You're fine. You're fine. How you are? Where, where's Aaron Rodgers? I could just <laughs> imagine him putting her outfit on. Yeah, he's like he's Storm. Like, you got these cool like armor, body armor, Magneto. You get a helmet, and and you kinky. just give you like some really sexy, slutty thing. That's perfect. Yeah, there you go. Speaking of which, Olivia Munn, who I I thought was you know she was fine, and she's yeah. like she has maybe six lines of dialogue. She did. She I think she had less lines than Superman did in Batman v Superman. And Storm has maybe twelve lines. Yeah. I gave Batman v Superman a five out of ten. I gave this one a lower score. Damn. Um, Brutal. Because I think it's better in the sense that it's just so stupid and dark and yeah. weird and different like yeah. x-men i've seen this seven Dude, times we've seen now. the end of the world so many times yeah. in superhero movies too it's nothing new you know how it's going to turn out i mean the only thing this had that was awesome was that quicksilver mansion scene and it was fantastic yeah it we, was excellent. but we did just see that in the previous film so it's not anything yeah. new and they even had the yeah. music and everything yeah the wolverine thing that they ruined in the trailer i, I don't know if it would have helped anything it was, it was total fan service, but yeah. it was extremely forced, and it well, had no yeah. impact. Yeah. There's no emotion to any of it. So he's just running around. It's PG-13, so they're trying to be yeah. edgy by showing blood splatters on the wall. Uh, I, I don't know. I didn't like this movie, obviously, and yeah. I, I got a lot of complaints. There were some things I liked about it, and I will admit that. you know, you, I definitely liked it a bit more than you did, but still, I mean, this just was not a good X-Men movie. It wasn't a good movie. It wasn't... It was, yeah. Man. Uh, it's sad to say, because I really wanted to like it. I really wanted to enjoy it, and there were parts where I was loving it. But overall, you know, you just gotta accept reality. I've never been into comics. I don't read comics. I, I've i read maybe a dozen in my life when In this I was case, it didn't matter. Well, what I'm getting not. at is X-Men was the only comic book series that I liked. Oh. And I, I even collected all the Fleer Ultra cards back in really? the day from like 1997. I have the entire set. Watch it made like a nine-part poster that was awesome. Yeah, that's I watched cool. all the animated X-Men. And so that, that, the yeah, fact that I have sense. zero interest in these movies anymore, I mean, that's that sad. speaks loudly to how, how much they've that's lost really me as a, as a audience member. And, uh, and once more... We end this film the same way that Marvel ends all their movies, which is 
Let's suit him up in new outfits and let's get ready to start another film. Yeah, again, like Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron all over again. God. They come out in their dumbass new outfits. We have the music. I love up. the outfits. They looked great, but yeah. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't make the movie good. <laughs> they won't wear them in the next movie. It just no, like, they'll probably just do, like yeah. Age of Ultron. I don't think anybody wore the outfit they had. For yeah, the they, end of, did they? Yeah, Falcon had his. Well, the, the outfit. Scarlet the Witch thing. in the same outfit. She, no, hers was actually a little like bit a better. Giant push-up bra at the end of Age of Ultron. I'm like, okay, so this is the new costume. Costume, I'm into it. I like what what they're doing here. Adam, stop dick picking. <laughs> I, oh, I just I just stole your line. No, there. It's, it's an old line. Nobody, you know, it's funny. People were comparing. Uh, did you ever see the old Power Rangers movie from the '90s? I, I m- maybe saw it on TV. Part of it. It okay. looked terrible. There was a villain named Ivan, Ivan Ooze. Ooze. Yeah, I've seen. I've heard the complaints. Yeah. But here's the thing: Apocalypse looked more like Mister Freeze and Batman and Robin. I thought he looked terrible, <laughs> yeah. and he never looks better. I mean, well, like, he looks like that the whole time. Yeah, like Poe. God damn it. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I just, I went over to think of Oscar Isaac. I, I can't believe that's now. him. I know. He was so, he's, he, they shouldn't he's have gotten. He's a phenomenal actor. Yeah, Man, he's what great. A, what a waste. Inside the Wall and Davis. Did you ever see that? Him and Adam no, Driver. No, I did not see that. That was a great movie. What a waste of an actor. Man. It's kind of like when they had um, Agent Smith in Transformers as the voice. Oh of yeah, as Megatron. Megatron. Yeah. Why, why? You could have had anybody. The whole Even thing he, was auto-tuned yeah. and yeah, it was just ridiculous. You, you could have taken uh, Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have known. You wouldn't have even known. You wouldn't have even known. You could have even done the same thing with Apocalypse, if you think about it, because he just dubbed over his whole voice. He's like, everything they built! You know, just, is, there any, uh-huh. is there anything else we need to touch upon in the spoiler section? Is there anything else that... I, I didn't like the, the uh, Phoenix thing either. So they uh, bust the that point? out. That, that was, there was no point. I think the point was Brian Singer didn't get to do the Phoenix because he didn't do so X3. So he was like, this is like his like, apology. I'm fucking doing it. I don't care. Yeah, fuck I don't you. care if, you know, I built it up so nicely in the first two movies and, you know, it actually organically made sense. I don't care. I'm okay. doing it my way now and she's just going to have this ability. <laughs> Maybe you liked it. I don't liked know. It more let's let's hear it in the comments. Or not, uh, you can just. I'm cry. looking forward to the feud now. The feud of all the X Men. Oh yeah, movies. that'll. that'll That's going to be interesting that'll now be that you've seen this. That's going to go into the superhero bracket on movie feuds that I'm doing right now in tandem. Jay's helping me write them, which has been a huge relief uh, because I do have other stuff that I have to do. This isn't subscribe. my. This isn't my job. It's just one of the many. He's not a subscriber, by the way. You subscribe because you're in this now. So oh, you want three subscribers? You're all in. You're all in. Uh, all three of my. Oh God, yeah! Bring account. your whole bring your bring your whole entourage <laughs> yeah. and tell your friends too. I mean, no, he's not that one. His friends has like three Google accounts. He's oh, like, oh well, shit! I, I, one other small note is the amount of single teardrops coming down the faces of people in this. Oh I think yeah! Was, you could do a drinking game and yeah, be drunk off of, your ass in thirty minutes. Kind of reminded me of Liv Tyler and Lord oh, of the Rings. Oh, it's a lot of Liv Tyler. Oh she yeah, fit right into the this. Sexy cry. Yeah, you got Rose Byrne teardrops. Oof. You got uh, Mystique teardrop. Michael Fassbender. Fassbender had teardrops the oh, entire dang. movie. Let, let's say goodbye now. Uh, thank you for joining us on this extended car side review. What a treat this has been for everybody. Uh, except and, uh, for you, because you have to edit it. Oh yeah, yeah, Wait. it's gonna be awful. What what now? Adam, are you gonna go uh, see the movie Backdoor to China? I don't know what that is, but <laughs> is that I'm, a real movie? But I'm actually okay. very interested. <laughs> okay, you can find it on the internet. On the internet. <laughs> oh, yeah. you, you can find a lot of things on yes. the internet. <laughs> and instead of an I for China, make sure you spell the one. The one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I know what you're talking about now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time in the car.